Since returning to Sweden, I haven't actually spent a lot of time in this forest. I call this the squirrel forest, and for good reason. <laughs> this little squirrel is basically caching, so it's collecting the food and burying it into the ground. So she'll be back and forth, but I've got some sunflower seeds just behind me. She'll be back. <laughs> this is actually the forest I found the baby squirrels and did most of my red squirrel photography, so... <laughs> Recently I've been returning to the forest often and there are so many mushrooms that have been popping up. I've honestly never seen so many beautiful mushrooms and I was looking for the perfect mushroom to take some photos. noticed the little shrew. This was the first time I'd ever seen a shrew and I actually found its home but the shrew was incredibly fast and I couldn't get any photos through the grass. I managed just that one video clip. Hi. You know what? You act like I know you. I don't recognize you. But Literally, I walked into the forest, I made my squirrel whistle, and this squirrel just turned up. And it keeps looking at me. Are you baby pear grown up? Are you? Let me just focus on squirrel one moment. There we, there we go. Who are you? Do we know each other? Speaking of baby squirrels, we have two adorable baby squirrels in our garden. Here's some footage of them and some baby squirrel squeaks.
I don't think baby squirrel squeaks could ever get old. I need to introduce you to someone and I can't do it in person because I'm in the squirrel forest, but we actually welcomed a foster dog to our home. Fikon is a rescue dog and he's looking for his forever home. He was found with his siblings on a street and his mum was tied up and abandoned. And that's when Tails Rescue Sweden stepped in and rescued them. We've had a lot of fun with him. He runs with us when we cycle. He's great in the car. And I know you're going to ask, how does it work having a dog when we've got squirrels in the garden? We always leave from the back door, so the red squirrels are on the other side of the house. At the moment, he doesn't really know what a squirrel is. He's seen them a couple of times from the window and he watches very peacefully and he doesn't seem like he wants to jump out the window or anything. So at the moment, everything is fine. <laughs> yes, we want to protect you. If you're interested in adopting Fecon, the details will be in the description. He learnt paw, sit and lie down in about five days, so I can tell he's going to be a very loyal companion if you put the work in. And he was so dedicated to be with us, he jumped into our canoe. I actually have a second introduction to make. About a month ago, I flew my drone into the lake. I was flying low and I basically wanted to get the sunset and the reflection of the sunset. The preview on the display was quite delayed and by the time I realized I was really low because the lake was so still, the reflection was perfect. So I couldn't tell how low I was. And by the time I realized, it was too late and I pulled up but the drone was already in the lake. So that was my first drone. I am extremely grateful to one of my patrons who was able to help me with a new drone. It's thanks to my patrons I'm able to invest into new equipment and make better content. So a massive thank you to my patrons. I was really inspired by all the mushrooms in the forest that I thought it would be really cool to have a mushroom displayed at home. And that brings me to the sponsor of this video, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of lessons. There are so many different classes and I was amazed to find classes by Stephanie about creating clay mushrooms. 
Stephanie really went into detail about how to mould and shape the mushroom. I followed each lesson as I created the mushroom. Each class consists of several lessons focusing on certain skills. This format made it really easy to follow and I'm really happy with my mushroom. Skillshare is of course not limited to making mushrooms. There are so many classes from photography, baking and language learning. The first 1,000 people to use the link will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. The other night we had a notification that if the sky was clear, there'd be a very high chance of northern lights. And in anticipation, I watched the most incredible sunset. And as we hoped, the sky cleared and at midnight we jumped into the car and at first the sky was really bright so we couldn't really see anything. But then at one o'clock it got dark finally and we had the most incredible Northern Lights show. Can you see it there? Yeah. Right in front of us? Yeah. Like you can see it through the clouds? Yeah, that's that's really really cool. That's it? really oh I need to I need to film go, it. Go, go, go. Look at it! Yeah. Oh my god! That's so weird! Baby, it's crazy. Oh my god! I don't know how to use my camera. Okay, yes. It looks even crazier on the on the camera. On the camera. It's so weird. <laughs> it's so bright as well. Yeah. I'm really cold, that's why. Yeah, yeah, get in the car. Yeah. Okay. I don't know what to do with myself. I shouldn't have worn pajamas. Oh, that's so weird. Super scary. Come on. I can't film if you're gonna be alarm calling. Oh, but there's another squirrel there, of course. I've got a squirrel watching me. I'm gonna record a little video on my phone because it's quite funny. We'll do it landscape. He just looks like he's quite comfortable. Just watching me. Ah, uh, this is just the dream. I've got three red squirrels running around me. I feel really uncomfortable that I'm filming myself and I'm not taking photos. But you know, I gotta make YouTube videos. <laughs>